Long considered the silent killer because it typically lacks symptoms, hypertension, if gone undetected and untreated, can lead to serious illness and even death. We talk with Dr. Neha Savalya of St. Jude Medical Center in Fullerton about the diagnosis and treatment. Hypertension is a um, medical term for elevated blood pressure. High blood pressure can be very dangerous over a long period of time. Usually if you have elevated blood pressure for one day or if it's transient um, because of exercise or stress, it's not going to do a whole lot of damage. But over a long period of time, over years, it can affect a lot of your organs, um, such as your brain, your heart, and your kidneys. Um, with the brain, we're worried about uh, over a long period of time having a stroke. With the heart, um, multiple different things like heart attacks, heart failure, um, irregular heart rhythms that can uh, result in death. Um, and then with the kidneys over a long period of time, it can ultimately result in kidney failure. The first line of treatment is uh, generally always lifestyle modifications. So that means um, do things like control your weight, um, start exercising if you haven't been doing that. And by exercising, I mean aerobic exercise at least 30 to 40 minutes, three to four times a week. Um, and if you're just doing moderate level exercise almost every day of the week. Um, if you're drinking more than one to two drinks of alcohol per day, um, you should really cut back on that because that can contribute to high blood pressure. We do recommend that you cut down on smoking or quit uh, if you do have high blood pressure. Um, other things that you can do are modify the diet. So a lot of our diets are high in fat and low in fruits and vegetables, so we want you to do the opposite. Increase the amount of fruits and vegetables, um, increase the amount of uh, dairy products, low-fat dairy products, and decrease the amount of total fat and saturated fat. And these are measures that you can do to modestly decrease the blood pressure. If the lifestyle modifications don't work, or if they do decrease the blood pressure but not to the goal, uh, then we would add on medications at that point. So there's a variety of different medications, um, diuretics, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, uh, ACE inhibitors, um, a lot of names you can hear if you visit your doctor's office. We'll add those medications on to help lower the blood pressure, but we usually like to give a trial period of um, up to six months if you're borderline. And if you're falling into the you know, accelerated hypertension, which is what we refer to as blood pressure that's associated with damage to the organs, we won't wait that long. They'll start you on uh, blood pressure medication right away. A normal blood pressure is less than 120 systolic and 80 diastolic. So systolic is uh, the top number, diastolic is the bottom number whenever you have a reading um, given to you. Um, between 120 to 139 systolic and 80 to 89 diastolic is prehypertension. So that's a category that we're really aiming um, to modify the lifestyle at and get the blood pressure down to normal because you can decrease the long-term risks. Um, and then anything above 140 systolic and anything above 90 diastolic, you're definitely into the hypertension category.